planes collided near Cherry Creek State Park today. One tumbled to the ground, slowed by a parachute. The other limped to a runway with a gash down the middle, and by some miracle, no one was hurt. Mm. Good evening. Thanks for watching Denver 7. I'm Ann Trujillo. And I'm Shannon Ogden. Now, the smaller plane was a single-engine Cirrus owned by a flight school. The other, a 19-seat Metroliner owned by Key Lime Air, a local company with a less than stellar safety record. We'll have more on that in a moment. First, we go to the ground in Denver 7, CB Cotton. CB? Ann and Shannon, there are still a lot of unanswered questions, but the NTSB says right now their initial findings lead them to believe that this mid-air collision happened as two planes were trying to land. And earlier today, we got an up-close look at one of those planes. I want to let you take a look at some of this footage we shot earlier. This is a single-engine Cirrus plane that deployed its parachute before crashing. Again, the good news, the two people on board are okay, but you can see the damage near the propeller. The Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office says again, this is the result of a mid air collision with this cargo Metro liner jet operated by Key Lime. The Metro liner jet carrying only the pilot was able to land safely at Centennial Airport and people who work and live nearby said they were shocked to see some of the crash debris and damage up close. It's amazing. Yeah? It's it's uh... It's a credit to that old aircraft. That's an old Fairchild Metro. I mean, those things, they haven't made one of those in 40, 40 plus years. Now, one of the planes involved in this collision, its ownership has a history of crashes here in Colorado. Our Denver 7 investigator, Jim, Jennifer Kovaleski, has been digging into that and now has more. Thanks, CB. Denver 7 Investigates has been looking into the safety history of the planes involved in today's crash. One of those planes is owned by a flight school in Inglewood. The other airline, Key Lime Air, has a long troubled past here in Colorado. Key Lime Air has made headlines for all the wrong reasons. In 2003, five people were killed when a Key Lime flight and another plane collided over Northwest Denver. In 2007, there was a near miss at DIA. In 2014, a pilot was killed when his plane went down in a Centennial neighborhood. This is video from that tragic crash. A week later, another flight made an emergency landing at Centennial Airport. A week after that, a plane went down in Kansas. And now, the latest collision near Cherry Creek Reservoir involving another Key Lime aircraft. Key Lime is a cargo and passenger charter air service based in Inglewood. The other plane involved was operated by Independence Aviation, which we mentioned is a flight training school also based in Inglewood. For now, we're live in the newsroom. I'm Denver 7 investigator Jennifer Kovalev.